Hello, and thank you for joining me, Rose Ford, StampersDelight.com. Grab your coffee, grab your tea, and come scrapbook with me. This is a new mug that you can get at the apparel shop. It's all about the memories. And we are going to get started. So let me flip the camera. There we go. You can see I have my little... Um, alphabets already cut out here and I actually stuck them to my new glass mat you can get this new glass mat free as part of your starter kit here is the die for that which I absolutely love okay and I know it's been a while since I did the scrapbooking so let me bring in the two pages that I did um, earlier in December so this was the first page. Let's bring that down just a little bit so you can see it. Okay, so this was the first page. You might remember that. Hopefully you do. And then this was the second one on our girls' trip, leaving from North Carolina and getting to Tennessee, to Nashville. So today I'm going to do a little bit more on Nashville and also Memphis. So I'm bringing in my black. Let's bring that down a little bit more so you can see it. There we go. And I have this leftover piece, and I thought this was perfect because of the um, music notes. This is from our winter collection. I'm just going to cut off a little bit here. Just trim a little on the edges. I like the black to show through. I'm just going to trim that. And then trim this side. It's not a full sheet, but it's okay. I can still use it. And because we think of Nashville and Memphis music, whoop, that's why I wanted to use this one. So I am going to go ahead and add that right here. And you can see I just have that nice little border. I'm going to take my stamp and seal and add a little bit on each corner. So I do have some more um, little pieces here, and that's on the silicone mat that go that come with the um, glass mat. I'm gonna put those over the side, and I'm just gonna lay this down in the center here. Now I'm gonna bring in the pictures from Nashville that I want to use, and this was actually, and I believe it's called Franklin. This is a cute little spot we found. And then this, of course, is Nashville. So let's, I think I'm going to trim those. Let me trim this one up. That was me sitting in that chair, which was so fun. And you can see that you had to get a step stool there to get on there. Let's just trim this down a little bit. I don't need that doorway there. I don't even think I'm going to mat them this time. I really like that music to show through. And then we have this picture here, which I think I should, I'm going to also trim, get out the pieces I don't want. Like, I don't need that right there. Don't know those people. And then I'm just going to flip this around and maybe cut that right there. So I still can see some of the street, but I want to focus on us. So let's see. I think what I will do is I will put these like that and I'm looking to see on the next page I'm looking ahead okay so I think that's good like that I'm not even gonna mat them I'm just gonna put them down like that again using my stamp and seal I'm gonna place that right there I'm going to place this one right there for me and my girls. I hope you all had a wonderful holiday. There we go. And this one I'm going to keep right there. Oop. I don't need that one. And we'll put that right there. Now, I've already cut these out and I've already used my adhesive sheets on the back. So let me grab my take your pick tool and this one I have my cutting blade on there but I want this piece right here 
So I'm going to turn that and I'm going to start with Nashville. And this will show up because it is black. I'm not going to press it down too hard yet because I want to make sure I kind of get these where I want them. You could also use a ruler. Sometimes I like to have them not quite straight because then it looks more whimsical. Let's put this right here. Again, that's why I call it Scrapbook 101. It's not perfect, but what do I always say? It's all about the memories. That's what my new mug and sweatshirt say. So we're gonna do Nashville. love this glass mat. There's a little piece I don't want on there, so let's take this. Lay that right there. See if I can pick that up just a little bit. Straighten that one out. Again, if you like to have everything perfectly straight, you can use a ruler. These dies are great for cards also. And let's grab the E. Hopefully I got that pretty straight. Eh, straight enough for me. So there's the first page for Nashville. Now I'm not done with that, but I do wanna put all my pictures down first. So let me bring in my next piece, which is also the black 12 by 12. Here's the pictures I'm gonna use. This is Nashville at night. And you can see, of course, the designer series paper is also 12 by 12. So that I do have to trim. As I go back through these pages, I will be adding some memorabilia maybe from um, the trip. You would think that I would have it all put together, you know, in one spot. But of course I don't. Okay, and we're going to do the same thing with this. And now I can put this one right there. That's definitely where I want that. And with the stamp and seal, I don't have to get too crazy. It's very sticky, plus it'll be in a page protector. That's about even. And then here's the pictures that I have. So this is the nighttime. This is during the day. So I think I'm gonna arrange my pictures like that. I don't think I have anything really that I wanna crop here. I could crop that, but it looks good like this. So I'm gonna leave that. And I'm just going to add my pictures. Don't forget to share my videos, subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram. It really all does help. And I will tell you something else. When you leave comments, that definitely helps me. And I do try to answer any questions that you have. So we're going to put that there. There was a lot of places we visited. Kind of um, impossible to scrapbook everyone. So I kind of just looked to see what I want to use. So I wanted to use the street at night and the street during the day. And of course picture with our shirts saying girls trip okay now for this one I also have this Nashville guitar pick that I picked up so for that I am going to grab my glue dots and I'm going to add that again I will be going back and adding some more things today or later so I'm going to take this take your pick I just thought of something too that I might use. Let's just see how this looks first. That actually would look good there, but we have this great new set, the rock and roll set. And I may want to get a bigger pick on that. 
Let me just grab that for a second. I think I might want to use this. So this is in the new catalog and Rockstar stamp set. And it's got some designer series paper, which you're going to see. But also in this, and this is, let me just dig this out. There's this giant guitar pick. And I'm wondering if I want to add, oh, yeah, I think I want to add that right in there. Check that out. I could add something else to that. It's a little large. Hmm. I think I'm going to use it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this down first. Then I'm going to bring in one of those guitars from the stamp set. And I'm going to add that right there. So let me grab my blends. And I'm going to use I want my red. Let's see, where's my red? Right here. Whoop. Here's my real red. I think I'm gonna do this first. Let's move this out of the way and do this. I'm gonna take my dark real red. And I'm just going to trace that. This is the way I use the blends. I like to start with the dark. Outline it a little bit first with the dark. Then I'm going to go back in with the light. And I'm going to blend that up. I'm leaving the face plate on the guitar white. I'm just going to color that up a little bit. And as it dries, it blends in. And then I can go back with the dark and add some highlighting. Let's just cover this up. Let's see how that looks. That looks pretty good. Maybe I'll add a little bit of shading here. back in with my light and just get that blended a little better. There we go. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to bring in some matte dots that I have. And I'm going to grab these little black matte dots. And I'm going to add those right here. That just makes it pop out a little bit more. I'm going to lift this up. I'm going to kind of move that around. Because I want to have this up here. So I'm just going to add that just like that. So let's take some stamp and seal on this. I'm going to add that guitar right here. Cute. And there we have that. Okay, so that's one another page. I might add to that one too. Let me bring in the next piece that I want to do, which is Memphis. And again, on that um, new designer series paper that we have, we have black and white guitars. Now this was at Elvis's um, house there. Oop, there's another one that we're gonna do. So again, I'm gonna trim this one down first. What's gonna happen is when I finish doing all of the scrapbook pages, I will bring them all back in and then we will 
take a look at it and see if I want to add more. Sometimes it's easier to get the whole book done and then go back and take another look at it. So here is this one. Add that on there. You can see it's double-sided, but of course I want the side with the guitars. And then I want to keep these the way they are because I want the Lisa Marie to show here and I want the mansion in the back. So I am going to keep that just like that. This one. So I'm gonna leave that one for a second. And now, mm, oh, you know what? I'm gonna bring this strip of white in that I have. I'm gonna put that to the side. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab those words of Memphis. And I think I'm gonna do this kind of whimsical. So I don't have to worry about it being straight. you'd rather have it straight, you can um, line those up. But for me, I like doing it this way so I don't have to worry about it being straight. That's upside down, let's just use that one. Now I have Memphis, that's gonna go right there. And let's see what else I wanna do. I think that's good for there because that's where we were, Memphis. We'll leave that there for a second. Remember, it's just about getting these pictures on the page first. Okay. Oops. Now we have Memphis. And then I have another piece of black with some pictures from Beale Street, which is also in Memphis. And I'm going to do the same thing. Trim that a little bit. Just about a quarter of an inch. So that one can go right in here. Just like that. Home of the Blues, Beale Street, BB Kings, and Wet Willies. That was just some of the places that we visited while we were on Beale Street. Walking in Memphis. Anybody like that song? I love that song. Gonna add that right there. And this one right here. You just need a couple of reminders of where you've been. Now, when I was in Memphis, of course, when I was in Nashville, I got that um, pick. I got this music note that says Beale Street, Memphis. I was going to use it for a, my tree, but then I thought, what a great piece for my scrapbook page. So that's what I'm going to use it for. I am going to, what I'm going to do with this, though, is I'm going to bring in my Sweet Petunia glue gun, glue press, with my Tombow in there. And the link to order this will, is below. I, I don't need the price tag on there, do I? Of course, nobody's going to see that, so I'll just leave it. And I'm going to add some glue here. I think, let me just make sure this is, I think I needed to refill it. But if you're like me and you're not a real neat glue person. This gun it works wonders, plus the fact it helps my hand. So I'm, you can see I'm putting quite a bit on here. Again, it's gonna be in a page protector, so that should be enough. 
And it has this great little holder while I'm using it that I can set down. The link is below if you want to order that. They do go out of, oh, out of stock quite often, so use that link to order that. Okay, so I'm just going to leave that to dry. There's a little bit of glue coming through there, but that's okay. It'll dry. So here's my Memphis pages. And then, of course, we have the other pages. I'm going to add some gems, I think, to these. Okay, so here are the other pages. This one needs something more. So let's see. Maybe Nashville. Maybe I'll put another guitar here. Right there. So let's go ahead and color that again using the blends. And I'm using the red because of the red background there. I'm just going to go back in through here and outline this. This is a stamp set that I would definitely have made birthday cards with for my husband. Anything music. Let's see, I'm being clean. I'm not doing it real. Um, Fancy, I guess is the word, because that's going to blend very nicely. I'm going to go right over the dark with the light, so it'll create some highlights there. Here. This stamp set's a great stamp set for, I'm just going to put a little red right there, for masculine cards or, you know, anybody that's into music. I'm going to bring in those matte dots again and put these on here for the knobs. I should have my other, there it is. Let me grab my other one. I keep two take your pick tools here so that I don't have to keep changing my attachments. Put that one right there. And now I can put this one right here. Now this one I'm going to pop up on dimensionals. So I'm going to grab some dimensionals. And again, I don't have to put a lot of dimensionals on here. It is going in a page protector. And take that off and I'm going to add that guitar right here now I like it and again I may go back and you may see this when I'm done with the whole book I may go back and add some more so there's my Nashville pictures and then again bringing in Elvis's state in Memphis. I think I need something else there. Not sure what I'm going to add yet. And then I have Beale Street. So those are the pages for today. And I'll be back next Sunday with some more pages. So I hope you will continue this journey with me and check it out. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Facebook and uh, leave me a comment. Thank you so much for joining me. I do have my camera fixed a little bit here, so I may not be looking at the camera the right way. It's just a different setup for me. So I'm used to looking straight ahead, and I think I have to kind of turn my head. So that's ah, all good. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to check out that mug at the uh, apparel shop along with the matching T-shirt and sweatshirt. And until next time, keep on scrapbooking, scrapbookers. Bye.